It's February and we're weight training for weight loss. Grab your moderate dumbbells and let's go. All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. Have your dumbbells completely out of the way and let's get started with some arm circles with high knees, you guys. Oh my goodness, what a great, great day I have planned for us. Welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body. And one of the ways that we do that, you guys, is by having fabulous workouts that are perfect for you. Specifically, perfect for you at this age, specifically perfect Perfect for you if you are losing weight, or really specifically, <laughs> perfect for you no matter where you are on your fitness journey. This workout today, oh my gosh, we are doing some straight up strength training, weight training, working with weights in nice, slow, and controlled movements that really help our brain body connection, help us lose weight. We're going to talk about how to do that, help us get stronger, help our muscles, help our bones, help every single bit of us. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Can you tell that I am a fan of strength training, of weight training? I am. And I did not come to this early in life. <laughs> I'll tell you, if you have met me before, if we haven't met, by the way, I mean, I'm Paula B. I'm a cardio girl. <laughs> But really, I love, love, love moving fast, getting sweaty, getting in, getting it done. But at this age, I have come to really appreciate all of the benefits of strength training and how it actually does help me better get better at cardio stuff that I love to do even more. <laughs> so I have become a huge fan of strength training. And whether you come at it from, oh yeah, strength training is my jam, or mm, I'm not so sure about this, let's see. I know that we are going to have a super fun time today. And and we're going to have a bit of a challenge too because that's what we do. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome ah, to my home, you guys. So that warm up, honestly, I mean this warm up, I was going a little bit fast on those arm crossers. I'm feeling nice and warm. I'm feeling like my heart rate is up a little bit. Your heart rate's not gonna come up super high today and it doesn't need to, but I do want you to take a quick inventory of your joints, really specifically your shoulders. Like as we're opening up here, really feel, if you can get a nice full range of motion, really feel that your hips are feeling open, really feel that your ankles have stopped popping. <laughs> I say that with a laugh because honestly, my ankles pop all the time. My toes pop all the time. But I do want you to really take a quick scan, a quick moment before we pick up something, even something moderately heavy, so that, so that you're ready for it. It's always best to be ready for your workout. Now here's the thing. I've got the handy dandy gym bus here set for intervals of 45 seconds. There's no rest, but there's also no rush. We're going to get started with something I'm calling controlled K's, and I'm going to show you without the weights first. We're literally going to make half of the letter K, or actually the letter K, excuse me, <laughs> and then the other, that one is the letter K, that one is not the letter K. As you noticed already, oh yes, there's a balance element to it too. So let me go ahead and get my timer started here. Weights start right here at chest. Pull your core in super duper tight. As your arm is coming up and out to the side and your leg is kicking up and out to that same side, you're going to roll your shoulder blade down and squeeze from your glutes. This is single-sided work and we normally go across your body. So you're really going to notice this in your balance. You're going to notice this as you are trying to coordinate lots of different parts of your body. And that really is what we're thinking about today. Coordination and core strength. Pull in your abs. When it beeps again, we're going to go directly into reverse lunges with squats. Now here's the thing. You never have to squat. You never have to lunge. It's what I'm going to be doing. You, on the other hand, if you don't want to squat or lunge, can absolutely do kicks. I'm just going to have the weights right here on my shoulders. Going to take a big step back into a reverse lunge as I step forward. Going to come down into a squat and then step back into a reverse lunge on the other side. What we're thinking about with reverse lunges and with squats is making sure that that knee does not go forward over your toe. The front knee does not go forward over your front toe. 
which means this reverse lunge is a huge step back. It's balance work. When it beeps again, we're going to do something I'm calling high raise, or excuse me, high knee with an overhead front raise. Now this again is going to be a same side of the body exercise, which means that the hand that's going up, so both palms facing your body. The knee that's coming up is the hand that's raising all the way up overhead. And then we're going to bring that down, pulling your core. Of course, this is slow and controlled. We're not trying to get a ton of these done. I will tell you, we've got two circuits today. I mean, it's one circuit that we're going to do twice. So we're going to see these again. So don't worry if we're not getting a bunch of them done this first time. I would always rather have you move with excellent form and do fewer of them than move fast to try and come to some arbitrary number. When it beeps again, we're doing deadlifts, making sure that you're breathing really thinking about having that arm straight the entire time without locking your elbow. Excellent. Speaking of not locking things, let's go ahead and pull in your core again. You're going to push your hips back, back, back while your torso very naturally hinges forward. A deadlift is completely driven through your glutes, which means that your butt is pushing backwards and then your butt is pulling forward. Awesome job. Making sure that your back stays super duper straight, that you're not coming down so low that you're actually rounding down into it. If you are really flexible, you might be able to get lower than me. This is as this is the combination of me being not very flexible, but very strong. You might not even be able to come down this far and that's totally okay. You get to where you can get to. When it beeps again, here we are. We're doing side kick press ups. Oh, thank goodness. We actually get to go across our body this time. So one leg is out to the side and the opposite hand is coming up in a press up. We're starting with your hands right here at your shoulders. Whew, we're pulling in our core, of course, because when something even moderately heavy goes up overhead, your lower back can absolutely volunteer. We don't want our lower back doing any of this work today. Your powerful glutes are doing this work. Your powerful abs are doing this work. Your shoulder complex is doing this work. When it beeps again, we're going to come down in curtsy curls, which again, if you don't want to do a curtsy lunge, you never ever have to help yourself to any kind of a kick that feels good and fun while you're doing biceps curls or honestly, you don't even have to do anything with your legs at all if you just want to do biceps curls. Totally okay with me. My friends, all of my workouts are always meant Oh my gosh, I tried to step over far enough that I wouldn't kick the chair. But all of my workouts are always meant to be modifiable, to be just right for you. Get your best work, do exercises that make sense for your fitness, for your particular concerns. Don't you worry about what or how much or how fast I'm doing. I'm here for the company. <laughs> you are here to get a good workout. When it beeps again, we're doing twisting high knees, which is exactly what it sounds like. We're going to twist while we bring up one high knee and we're twisting into that high knee, which means that we're really going to feel that work in our abs and obliques right there in the middle. So weights are just right here. Look at your shoulders. We're going to bring up one high knee. We're going to twist into it. We're going to grunt on this one. Let me just tell you that right now. Anytime we're doing ab work like this, oh gosh, especially combined, oh golly, with balance work, which is apparently not my forte today. Some days, my friends, some days balance is easier than others. So I'm going to slow this down a little bit because that makes it harder. <laughs> That's the thing about balance. The slower you go, the more difficult it is. And therefore, I'm really going to think about challenging myself just the right amount, making sure that you are doing what challenges you without falling out of it and twisting your knee or your legs into something where you can get injured. Okay. Coming up right now, we're going to do a split stance, which means one leg forward, one leg back. We're going to do a row plus a kickback. So you're bringing those dumbbells up to your armpits and then pressing them back to your hips, keeping your elbows pointed at the wall or whatever is behind you and then coming back out of it. So rowing them up, pressing them back. The wider your elbows go, the less you're actually working the triceps that we're trying to work here or the big back muscles that we're trying to work here. So making sure that we're using excellent form, this balanced split stance, making it tougher, of course. When it beeps again, we're going to switch the split stance and we're going to change into flies, which means that your arms are going to open out wide to the side rather than being close to your body. They're going to come out to the side. So other foot forward in that balance 
balanced stance. Hands, or excuse me, palms facing each other and then bring them out wide so palms are facing the ground. Really, really thinking about bringing this work into your shoulder blades. Can you feel your shoulder blades behind you? Squeezing and twisting into one another rather than shrugging your shoulders up to get your hands out. We're squeezing from the middle of your back Really thinking about your shoulder blades back there makes a big difference in where this motion comes from. When it beeps again, speaking of your shoulder blades, we're gonna stand up nice and straight and tall. And we're gonna do letter X's. Letter X's is one of my favorites to do, partly because it's difficult, but also because we're working with big muscles. So standing up nice and straight and tall, core is pulled in tight, weights start right here at your chest, opening up and out like the top of a letter X, and then bring them back together, and then opening up and out like the bottom of a letter X. There's kind of no resting position except right here in the middle. So making sure that you're taking your time right there. My friends, today's workout is meant to feel moderate. If we are losing weight, we are not working hard. We are not lifting super heavy. We're lifting within our capacity and enjoying the work so that we can come back and have some more fun tomorrow with another workout. When it beeps again, we're doing triangles, which means that we're going to have our hands starting in the middle of your chest and one is going to go directly up overhead. You're going to have your feet almost wider than is comfortable. One hand is going to go up towards the ceiling while the other hand just rolls right down the side of your leg. Go ahead and let your hip jut out on the other side and then bring your hip back underneath you to control this motion. That's how we're getting down so far. Trust me. I wouldn't be able to roll over this far if I wasn't letting my hip do this work. Yes, your abs are involved because we're bending over to the side but honestly, this is almost, well, not entirely. There's a lot of muscles working in there, but this is a lot of glute work. Your butt is doing a lot of this work. We roll to one side and roll to the other. Coming up next, we've got high knee side raises. Okay, so we're starting with our hands at our side. As one knee comes up, I had to think about this. The other arm across your body, thank goodness, is raising up to the side on the other side of your body. So palm is facing your body and then palm is facing the ground. We're trying to get it basically, basically parallel with the ground. Totally depends on your shoulder mobility, your strength, and whether or not your dumbbells feel kind of heavy right now. If they do, drop them. Totally okay to go down in weight. My friends, when it beeps again, we are starting again with those controlled K's. This was everything in the circuit. You have seen it all now. And now I can tell you, because I've given you a lot of form cues, now I can start talking to you about why weight training is so good for weight loss. So here we go with those controlled K's. Weight's right here in your middle. There's not the letter K. Oh, I'm going to fall out of that one. <laughs> We're having both the weight and the balance on one side. Feeling particularly difficult for me today. Squeezing from your shoulders shoulder blades. Awesome job. My friends, I got this question the other day and I really wanted to talk about it at length, which I mean, for me, I talk about everything at length. When it beeps again, we're doing reverse lunges with squats or kicks, whatever works for you. But I had a question about how weight training, because I have mentioned so many times in so many ways, how it's good for weight loss and how we can actually get toning results. Here we go with those reverse lunges and squats. How we can actually get toning results when we are focused on weight loss. Because last year, when I did a weight loss challenge series in January of 2020, I talked a lot about how we really need to focus on weight loss in order to lose weight. How we're not really trying to get toned or get fit or get in shape right now. And I stand by those statements, but I am going to clarify them. <laughs> Because here's the thing, when it beeps again, we're doing that high knee with the overhead front raise. So once again, on the same side of your body, one hand going all the way up in a front raise, keeping your, your arm rotated the entire time until it gets up overhead, and then bringing it back down with that one high knee. So here we go, standing on one foot, the knee raises and the arm raises, keeping your arm in the rotated position the entire time. So your palm facing your body and then your palm facing the ground and then your palm facing out. So your arm never rotates like it does when we do a press up. 
Here's the thing that I want to clarify about that. No matter what we are doing, we're toning. No matter what we are doing, we're getting in shape. Like there's, there's benefits to be had that have nothing to do with what you're focusing on. When it beeps again, we are doing deadlifts. And that's what I want you to really think about. You are welcome to notice all the toning benefits. You are welcome to notice how strong you are getting. Here we go with deadlifts. You are absolutely welcome to enjoy and appreciate and think about all of the wonderful health benefits that exercise brings you, because it does. Exercise is so good for your heart, your lungs, your muscles, your bones, your mental health, your physical health, your longevity, your ability to fight off diseases. I mean, exercise is like, it's magic. It truly is. But it's not the thing that drives weight loss. And if you want to lose weight, which you do, if you want to lose weight, you need to really focus on weight loss. Because exercise is not the main driver of weight loss, by the way, when it beeps again, we're doing sidekick press ups. So this one, oh, thank goodness, we're going across your body. <laughs> I'm really noticing how challenging this is today. Side kick on one side, press up on the other. Oh, thank goodness, I feel much more balanced now. <laughs> when you are wanting weight loss, the main driver of weight loss is eating the right number of calories every single day consistently. The other things that help with weight loss are things like exercising moderately every single day, drinking the right amount of water, getting enough sleep, managing your mind. They're all components, but exercise in and of itself doesn't drive weight loss. It drives your health. It drives your physical fitness for sure. Like more than eating. So when you are losing weight, you focus a little bit more on the eating. And by the way, when it beeps again, we're doing curtsy curls. Elbows tucked right into your waist, come down in a curtsy or kick out to the side or don't. You do you, my friends. <laughs> when you are focusing on weight loss, your main focus is really what you're eating. Now, when you're done losing weight and you're focused on maintaining, you get to you get to think less about what you're eating. You get to eat for your hunger. You get to not count calories anymore. You get to live your life in a way that is much more focused on your exercise. When it beeps again, twisting high knees, where we're gonna twist to one side and bring up that same high knee at the same time. So it's seam-sided, which means I'm gonna have a fun time with it. The thing is the five things that we do, here we go with those twisting high knees, the five things that we do for weight loss are the five things that you're going to do for health literally your entire life. Like there's nothing about eating, drinking, sleeping, exercising, and managing your mind that's really going to change when you're done with weight loss. What will change is your focus. When you're done losing weight, you will think more about your fitness, about your health, about exercise that you enjoy, about being able to do something for the rest of your life that feels really good. When it beeps again, we're doing those split stance row with the triceps kickback. Oh my goodness, okay. Find something to stare at. <laughs> I'm noticing. I'm, it's a little bit easier this time, but not easy. All right. Split stance means one leg forward, one leg back. Elbows are pointed back behind you. Row those hands right up to your armpits. Press them gently back to your hips, back to your armpits again, and down. My friends, I don't mean to say that watching what you eat is difficult. I don't mean to say that when you are done losing weight that you never have to think about it again because that's not how I feel at all. In fact, if you want to live a healthy life for the rest of your life, you're always gonna be thinking about what you eat. You're always gonna be thinking about your portion sizes, about what fits into your health goals, about what fits into your lifestyle. You're gonna be making choices the exact same way that you're making choices right now. Let's go ahead and change our split stance. And this time we are doing fly palms face each other and then palms face the ground finding something to stare at because this split stance this is a challenging balance day for me which happens sometimes you guys it really does here's the thing that I wanted to mention to you though because I get this question actually from the other direction as well when it beeps again we're doing letter X's 
that sometimes, I mean, in some of my much, much, much older videos, like way older than just last January, I talked a lot about why we would do weight training for weight loss because when we are building muscle, that muscle is actually more metabolically active than any other kind of tissue in your body. So let's go ahead and stand up gently. Ah, core is pulled in tight. Feet are about hip width apart. We're gonna make the top of the letter X. Oh, we're gonna squeeze, squeeze, squeeze from those shoulder blades and then bring it back to center. And then squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for the bottom of the letter X. And it's true, it's absolutely true. But, but building more muscle actually is not the fastest way to lose weight at all. As previously mentioned, yes, exercising moderately can absolutely help you build muscle. It can help you boost your metabolism by having more muscle in your body. By building muscle, you will burn more calories, minute to minute, day to day, year to year, etc. However, it is literally the slowest way to lose weight. <laughs> We're doing triangles now, feet almost uncomfortably wide. Hands start here at your chest. We're gonna put one up to the sky and the other one down to your toe, your ankle, your shin, your knee, wherever you can reach. <sighs> Pulling in that core, thinking about letting your hip do this work. Getting some good work on your inner and outer thighs as well as your glutes and of course your shoulders, your abs. I mean, honestly, this is one of the most complex exercises that we do. Lots of muscle involvement, which means lots of muscle toning, muscle building while we are losing weight by eating the right number of calories. Of course, we can be getting all kinds of other benefits. My friends, I actually have, I have a really old video that's a little bit over a year old when it beeps again right now. <laughs> We're gonna do those high knee side raises. So hands at your side, one high knee while the other hand across your body, thank goodness, is raising out to the side. It's, a, it's an old video that it was from the podcast that I used to do when I actually used to run while talking to you about important things. And I will have a link for you here on screen and in the description box below. The question is, what is your workout really doing for you? And it really kind of answers this even more thoroughly about how no matter what you're doing, you're always getting all kinds of benefits from it. It really depends on what you're focusing on. I don't suggest that you do it as a workout, even though I am running and walking in the video. You guys, when it beeps again, we are done. Oh, we're not quite finished. I'm gonna put my weights down and we are doing super slow flying fast steps. Put your weights down, one leg on the ground, both hands up overhead. We're tipping forward slightly. We've got one foot back behind us. We're gonna bring your knee to your hands and your hands to your knee right in the middle. And then we're gonna try to extend it all the way back out again without tapping down. Now, obviously you can tap down. No matter what I am doing, you should make this exercise work for you. We're practicing our balance because that's what we do around here. I am all about getting fit while we are focused on losing weight, my friends. Extend it out. Core is pulled in tight, tight, tight. We're noticing where our body is. We're thinking lovely things about how strong we are, how fit we are. Ah, then we're gonna, of course, switch sides. Go ahead and keep your hands up. I know you put one of your hands down. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> But we're gonna keep our hands up because we're still doing this on the other side. Here's the thing though, the next time it beeps really is the last time it's going to beep, my friends. We will be better than done. We will be finished. And here's the thing that I wanna tell you. I actually, I love, love, love when you guys ask me questions like this. I love that you are putting together all the pieces of all the science and all of the understanding and all of the everything. Fitness, exercise, losing weight, there's a lot of information out there and there's a lot to sift through to figure out what's best. I have, I have so many resources for you and honestly, here we go, we are finished. <sighs> Let's cool this down, oh my gosh. I could literally answer questions about this all day long. <laughs> this is why, here we go with some arm circles to cool this down. This is why every single month on YouTube, I have an Ask Me Anything. I love to help you sift through all of the noise out there and get the best information for yourself so that you can be super, super successful at whatever you want to do. Like, for example, kicking a really, really great workout to the curb because we got it done today. How strong and amazing do you feel? Let's go ahead and open it up. Ah, now you guys, 
Okay, here on screen, what do I have for you? I have an extended cool down, of course, because I always have an extended cool down. I try and make them not too long here, just in case you are in a hurry. We try and cool it down a little bit, but you have, if you have a couple more minutes, I've got one here for you on screen. I've got an information video for you about everything that you need to know about losing weight at 50 and beyond, and I will have a link for you for that workout that I was just talking about that I don't want you to do as a workout, but you can listen to it like a podcast about what is your workout doing for you. Thank you so, so much much for working out with me today. Make sure you click that subscribe button before you go and I'll see you tomorrow.